Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at our very first Iron Grenadiers character from the G.I. Joe Classified series. This looks amazing. I love the new window boxes. You can see all the accessories. The black boxes are absolutely sick. And with that red blood background, man, these packages really pop. It breaks my heart to have to open this thing, but, you know... I got to play with my figures, display them, see what they're all about, and review. So check out this packaging. Absolutely incredible. These retail for like $24.99, and they are starting to ship as of this video's release to all the G.I. Joe collectors that pre-order them. So let's take a look at that packaging. Oh, coming in hot. The metalhead says, bang, bang, bang. Look at that beautiful packaging. All those wonderful accessories. All that coolness. Here we have the back of the packaging. This is number 118 in the line. As you can see Metalhead. I can hear him just yelling, bang, bang. And from the Deke series. He's definitely one of the coolest characters. Very colorful. Awesome. Now he's fully classified and all tricked out. There's the top of the box. Here's a look at the bottom of the box. Here's the UPC. I'm not sure if you can find these in stores. I mean, Mutt and Junk always found in stores, so you may be able to find him eventually, but I think he's just starting to come out now. But you can use that UPC. However, you can, it helps you guys track down your metalhead. The artwork on this is absolutely just sick. He looks menacing and very deadly. Not as a comical character that we used to see in the show, but he looks definitely become a very serious threat to the G.I. Joes. And the other side... We all just took them out of the box. Not only it was something that was bothering me when I first pre-ordered this thing, but something else just presented itself that's not pissing me off. Do you guys remember the version 2 Firefly with that wobbly, terrible waist design? Well, guess who has that? Can you guess? Can you freaking guess? Can you freaking guess, huh? Look. There's that waist again. Can you see that? Look at the gapage there. And that wibbly, wobbly, wobbly metal head. Look, there's nothing wrong with this figure. That's that terrible design. They used it again. Absolutely atrocious. Unbelievable. That terrible waste. Nothing. Just wobbly gapage. No, oh, really. Heart's broken. Another amazing character. Screwed by Hasbro. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So, I wish you guys know, here on Black Skies Reviews, that that is all jacked up. So let's move on and see what else they screwed up. Here's the head sculpt. Looks amazing. I love the hair. It looks cool. Nice to see him without his visor, if that's something that really mattered to you. Always can picture him as the, the visor on his face, because kind of was all that way in our vintage toys versus the cartoon. But it looks like he has a little teardrop there on the side of his face. Goatee, grunt his teeth. Like I said, the hair is absolutely awesome. Look is very cool, the strands of hair sticking out there. Overall, the vest looks fantastic. We have multiple color lay layers there. We have the nice tampos and print there on this top of here, which is this a cold slither? Huh. Some maxes, knife sleeves, these paints. The back of the vest looks incredible. We painted in detail to silver, some blue power bars there, some pegs. And then his shirt underneath has, oh, there's the Destro and Grenader image on his shoulder. But his shirt has the red trim and the gray. Green elbow pads, black gloves, gray overall pants, different shades of gray with the belt and the thigh pads with the knobby connectors here and down in red. E pads are gray. And the black boots with the red 
kind of trim laces on his feet. Here are some other images. Uh, crap. It's frustrated already. So there's these alternate hair. It's kind of funny to say alternate hair instead of alternate head sculpt. With the glasses kind of attached with his visor done in yellow. Nicely tampered there. Looks pretty cool. Um, this is what it looks like. Kind of without it. So it fits. Looks good. Pretty cool. Same hair sculpt, just has the visors. I think I prefer this look overall because it's more classic. But Lenny was awesome to give us a helmet, a metalized helmet. Kind of a saw blade and some spikes. Kind of give you a samurai look here in the bag. But it always makes sense because he has these rock launches blossom from his shoulders and it's nothing to protect his head or his face. So it makes sense too. This is a nice welcome update to a classic figure that's not really hindering what the ability is to have a classic version. And I guess you have to take that hair off to get that overall look. That looks sick the way that runs together with this um this vest and the helmet. Nicely done, but poor parts pieces here at the waist. Alright, so let's take a look at that articulation. The head, ball joint back and forth, rotation 360, all the way around, this side to side, back and forth, ball joint shoulders, they do raise up. Pretty good. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Wow. That's awesome. Clearance just folds in half. Um, the hands have the up and down joint like this. Rotation 360. And this one has the in and out like this. So you have up and down, in and out. So that's good. And of course, we have the butterfly joints. Then we have this stupid waist. We do have the T there, that piece in the middle. Gives you that ab crunch piece. And then really no side to side because it's just rounded out body onto a piece there. When you really get in there, you can see how bad that is. <sighs> Terrible. That is so frustrating. I can't I can't even get over that. Drop down hips apparently. Someone splits like that. Uh, that way. Can you sit any potential vehicles for Cobra? Decently. Probably no problem. Thigh cut there. Well, that's super stiff. That's super stiff. We have double joint knees when you heat them up. Boot cut, feet pivot down, kind of stiff. Up and then you know, around the on the heel if you want that overall ability. It's there. Look how he rocks. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's so heartbreaking. Oh, I was so looking forward to this figure too. It's just like the Firefly. It was like everybody wanted that V1 Firefly. And we get it, and we get that issue, and now we have the V1 metal head, and we got the same problem. And of course, when it rains and it pours, we also have other issues. This is the one I noticed straight out the door. Here's this weapon. This is like the cartoon weapon. His other weapon here. But these weapons are for the Valkyries, the female characters. These weapons are too small for male characters. I do love the paint ups though. The black and red looks amazing, but too small. Let me show you. Hands are relatively okay, a little stiff. Look how small that gun looks. Too much. Very small. He's too big of a character. And the same thing goes for 
Got a little baby stock because it's made for the ladies, which is perfectly fine. These not should be used for any other characters besides the female. They should. Look how small that gun is. I mean, just the stock alone that barely even passes the uh, side of his chest there. It's too small. It's terrible. With me, I'm lucky enough to have the where he probably uses rock launchers more than anything else, so I knew that was in there, but that waste, no, that was not even. I didn't even know that was there. That's terrible. Here we have the little knife. Black handle. I don't know, blade. It is quite small too. It's just like a little dagger. And of course we do have a place to keep that at least. So that's cool. Mm. It fits pretty good in there. So it'll stay. That's awesome. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at those rocket launchers and see how well those came out or not. So here we go. It's a pack, just black plastic throughout, except for a little bit of silver there on the cannons. Nice sculpting though. Pretty good. This side of that, so rotation here up and down this is good um, we have a hinge because pretty much wow that's pretty nice and then they swivel this swivels all the way around so you can get pretty good range of motion and posability out of these so that's really cool very very cool and then also these are just on a ball peg you can remove those if that's something you desire, you can see how that works. Pretty cool. Oh, so disappointed. You can see how that fits. Pig and two pig on here versus two pigs on the vest. And that fits really nicely. And okay, so you can do the up to down. In between different directions, he definitely has a nice um, range of motion for these things. He can definitely cause GI Joe some trouble throughout with the range of motion he has, and he he can deploy these pretty cool. Um, kind of gets decently stable. Okay, so you get two hoses. That was pretty much attached, but it came apart when I took it out of the packaging. And they go on the bottom of here. And apparently go somewhere. I uh, don't know where. I'll have to find out where those go. But they do peg. They might go into the, the back of the launcher. Let's leave these off for a second. Just two hoses. We'll take a look at the other ones. They probably punch into the ones that go into the thigh. All right, so here's the thigh ones. Um, just the front, I'm assuming. Or is that the back? It could be the back. Because of the exhaust. But there's a pinhole in the middle there. That's where it might go. Down into there. And then up into the back of the backpack. Let me see if I can put that together. All right, so there he is, not too bad. Out of my frustration, I kind of got the silver part, the vent's going to back, obviously, but that waist is just heartbreaking. That's how that looks. Did that come out? I sure did. There you go. That's how this work. Ah, oh, man, that looks pretty cool. You can hold the weight of this pretty good too, so that's awesome. All right, for the rockets, you get three different sizes. Oh, the rockets are, uh, maybe two different sizes of rockets, but three different sizes of the blast effects. So you get two of these. 
and it says removable to white. One is translucent plastic and the other little baby rocket. It's pretty cool. Do two of those. Let's see if I can make that where you guys can see how tall they are. Um, let's see. No, that's not gonna work. They keep falling over. But here's the next size. Get two of those. Same kind of thing. Size comparison. And then you get the larger ones. They're probably for the top of the rockets. You can see here's the size comparison from the other ones. So assuming that since there's four, these only two of these are probably for the upper rockets. And then the four here, you can mix and match them if you were like one small, one big, one was always farther out. Then the other one in timing. That's pretty cool. Um, so the smaller ones, for example, they fit pretty snug. That's one of the, it's like they call that one a medium. There's a small one there. And then you have the large one, of course. That would be right there. But I think that might still fit down here for some, yeah, you can still fit. They all, the, the plug's the same diameter. Or millimeter so you kind of can do that if you you know if you so desire not a big deal see how that kind of works so you can definitely mix and match those if you'd like to uh oh maybe not that was well okay here we go so there's that one and then i'll just use a small one just so you can see the comparisons there and then i'll put them Pretty much, well, these top ones are really snug. I want to take a look at that here in a second, but just for your visibility here in our purposes, um, you can see how you can arrange them however and get that bang, bang, bang effect. So, pretty decent looking. All right, because it's more of a unison fit with the bigger launchers, having the larger rocket launcher and the uh, blast effects versus the larger and smaller ones. You may have noticed that the back here has like a opening too, with a little hole inside. So I guess you can do this either way, kind of like this for the exhaust, if you just wanted to do that to get that overall impression. I also notice that these little pigs fit in that hole that's in there. This kind of looks odd to me, but you can do it if you want to do that. Hmm. All right, so yeah, you can pretty much get these wherever you want them. I mean, the top ones are amazing. You can bring them across his face. If you wanted to do that, it's kind of sick. You can get those really nice angles with these upper ones. Very, very cool. Now him with uh, scrap iron, that'd be pretty amazing if you have like, you know, scrap iron and then you do the bus effects with that tank. You know, his little tank there. That looked really, really cool. Well, there you have it. Um, I don't know what to say, to be honest with you. I like the figure. I think it looks good overall, and, and aesthetically, the rocket lunges are pretty decent. I like how they did them. Fantastic. Um, but the guns are the Valkyrie guns, which are entirely too small for a male character. And then that waist is absolutely ridiculous. You guys can see that or not hopefully well i'm going to hold all on recommendation for this figure i mean he's a i mean you pretty much show if you're gonna buy him in a package yeah i mean that'd be awesome but like i mean it's not a deal breaker in my opinion but it's not very we shouldn't be back at this again we should be constantly improving on our figures and the weapons just the plastic the sculpts 
So I'll let you guys decide if this is for you or not. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next review.